Your Excellency, President Bidino S. Aquino III, Trustees of Ramon Magsaysay Award Foundation, Distinguished Guests, Fellow Awardees, Ladies and Gentlemen, Almost all of us experienced a lot of struggles in life. Even my college life was an uphill battle. When my father died, I had to pursue my education by working part-time. My dream was to become a lawyer or a doctor, but due to limited resources, I therefore studied teaching. Now, looking back on my life, there must be a reason for this career choice. I was meant to be with the Matexalug tribe of Pigalungan in Davao City. On January 8, 2007, as newly appointed public school teacher, I was sent to Pigalungan Elementary School, the farthest school in all of Davao City, inaccessible, poor, and isolated from any communication. At that time, we were only two teachers handling all the grade levels. I told myself, I had to transfer immediately. I knew I would not be happy there. But as the day passed, when I saw the poverty in the community, when I saw in the people's eyes and gestures that they needed me, I began to love who they are and their simple lives. When we held the school's first ever graduation ceremonies, it was so memorable because I, do, I saw the happiness in their eyes of both the students and the parents. The Matisalog elders openly cried when they witnessed the program. They never imagined their children could finish elementary education given Pegalunga's remoteness and isolation. Since then, we have been able to increase the number of teachers and school facilities, among other improvements. We, we even opened a secondary school that benefits not only the Matisalog of Davao City, but also those from Bukidnon, a neighboring province. Still, I was not happy. See my hungry students and the impoverished families. Even though I was already school in charge in 2010, I realized that I could not concentrate only on formal education. I decided, I decided to extend my work to the community so they could learn to make their assistant land productive. I learned to work with the people of Pegalungan to plant crops like cacao, rubber, coffee, and fruit trees. The tribe is now practicing multi-cropping to become food sufficient. Hundreds of Malibago plants were planted along the river to protect us from soil erosion and flood. My vision for the Matisalog in Pigalungan is to uplift their lives from poverty. This was also the vision of the late President Magsaysay, who showed his passion and commitment to serve everyone equally and to ensure justice to all Filipinos. I never expected to receive a prestigious award such as the Ramon Magsaysay Award. This is an extraordinary award, and it makes me feel very happy and fulfilled. For me, being a Magsaysay awardee is not ab about becoming popular. Rather, it is a strong call to have a greater passion to serve our fellow Filipinos and to become a true role model and inspiration for others. Rich or poor, I believe there are no limitations in helping our fellow men, especially the poor. Nobody got rich from the teaching profession, but a teacher like me get rich from sharing knowledge, values, and positive attitude to the community. I would like to recognize those who have given their efforts and support to my vision for Sitio Pegalungan, my co-teachers, the Davao City government, field officers in the education, agriculture, and environment agencies, other generous partners in our development efforts. My deep gratitude also goes to the people of Pigalungan, Sitio officials, tribal elders, our students, and their families. They believe in our vision of an educated and food-sufficient community. Special thanks to my former district supervisor, Ms. Ava Marie Santiago, to, Bali to Batu Balani Foundation, and to the media who put public attention to our work. Also, it is impossible for me to fully express my gratitude to my family whose unconditional love and acceptance has encouraged me through all the frustrations and dangers. Above all, to our almighty God, whose guiding hands has always given me the strength to go on. I truly believe that we can build a strong Philippines. 
if we open our hearts to serve the people without expecting any personal returns. Whatever challenges and obstacles we experience, we can overcome all of this if we are determined, patient, and hardworking. Mabuhay po ang mga Pilipino. Mabuhay po ang mga gurong Pilipino.